Our next uh, presenter is somebody known to most of you, Jeff Garnsey. Jeff's the uh, president of the Save the River Board. He's been president for many years. He's a third generation fishing guide from the area. And he is going to present the Dan Tack Award today for the largest muskie caught and released in the St. Lawrence River. So with that, I will turn it over to Jeff. Can you hear me now? Okay. I, it, all these buttons on the computer. <laughs> oh, okay. So uh, obviously, one of my uh, one of my very favorite parts of the conference over the last few years has been uh, the uh, announcement of the winner of the Dan Tack Annual Muskie Catch and Release Tournament. Um, the tournament was so named. Uh, from a dear friend of mine and the river, uh, Dan Tack passed away just shortly after the announcement of this tournament. Um, and it was a, a natural progression um, of how we have fished and how we have looked at uh, this apex predator in the Thousand Islands. Obviously, um, early on in the 18 and 1900s, uh, these fish were, were not considered to be uh, a large enough part of the ecosystem that they were valuable enough to be caught more than one time. And uh, thanks to the, the work of so, so many people in the early uh, 1980s, um, the catch and release was introduced in our neck of the woods to allow these beautiful fish to be captured uh, more than once without significant injuries or even risk to, to injury. Um, because the tournaments used to be, obviously, uh, you had to bring the fish ashore, you'd put a white flag on your boat, and everybody would go downtown to Clayton and photograph it, and then the fish would spend months in a freezer prior to being mounted. Um, now, we've got a tournament that has specific guidelines to protect um, but still nurture um, these sport fish uh, uh, in, in our neck of the woods um, by safely getting a measurement and getting the fish back into the water um, without uh, any injury to the fish. So what we do every year is every fish that's caught, regardless of its size, um, a picture is sent with the measurements to save the river. And of course, our dear friend, Mike Ringer, has given us these beautiful prints. So uh, your trophy is a beautiful print for your wall instead of the fish, um, which is a huge deal because it gives us some real waypoints into the health of the ecosystem, um, specifically the, uh, the apex predator. Because when we catch these smaller multi-generational fish, it gives us an idea the health of the ecosystem in our specific area. The last couple of years, there have been some real monsters caught, um, and we seem to have plateaued at about 55 inches. So this year, we're all very, very pleasantly surprised to see a 56-incher captured early in the season before the big lake fish started to make their way into the, the area around Grindstone and Clayton. Um, you can see this absolutely gorgeous 56 inch muskie caught by our, our winner, Jonathan Pencil. And hopefully I've got that pronunciation correct. Um, but you can see he's got a great system of measurement. The fish was only out of the water for a very short time before it was successfully released. Um, so let me be the first to congratulate you, Jonathan. Um, on your amazing catch and thanks for participating and uh, your name will be forever uh, engraved on this beautiful black walnut plaque down at our main office at Save the River uh, downtown in Clayton. And with that, I'll turn it back over to John. Thanks again. All right, Jeff, thank you very much. And we should mention that all the statistics and vital information that we get gets passed on to John Farrell at Thousand Islands Biological Station. So this information has been collected now for I believe over 20 years and is ongoing and very helpful in the scientific research. So thank you, Jeff, and thank you, Julie, for making the computer work. <laughs>